St. John chapter 14, verse 6. Yahweh shall say unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto the Father, but by me. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. This is Lord Yahweh Shai. This is a red letter. Who they eagerly call Jesus, saying, I am the way. I am the way, I am the life. No man coming unto the Father but by me. But once again, you got a whole lot of Israelites that don't want to confess Lord Yahweh Shai's name. They still talking about we don't know the names. And then when they say the names, they, they don't put no um no glory on it, no praise on it. They just say it just to be saying, no, we're supposed to magnify those names. We supposed to glorify those high holy names, those proper names in the Hebrew tongue. And yes, we have and it's through faith. Faith is what makes us believe in the proper names in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. All right? Faith, man. If you haven't been given the gift of faith, you're going to confess the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Because why, why once again? St. John chapter 14, verse 6. A quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimon. I'm sure a quick little lesson. I got to head out. Time to kind of go make that daily bread. But it's almost over, man. Our Lord and Savior, Lord Yahweh Shai is coming. Let's get it again. St. John 14, 6. Yahweh Shai, once again, who they eagerly call Jesus, said unto him, I am the way. Lord Yahweh Shai is the way. He's the door. All right? He's the door to the Heavenly Father, right? We ain't on no type of level to just think we can just go straight to the Heavenly Father. No type of level. Hell, we ain't on no level, period, to go straight to the Heavenly Father. It don't work like that. It's, it was always a mediator. Way back from the beginning, it was always a mediator, man. It was always a go-to guy to get to the Heavenly Father. Just, go, just going straight to him like that. What is wrong with you Israelites, man? Falling after these wacky, tacky-ass Israelite groups, man. You know, just going to get judged, man, real soon. Let's get this again. St. John 14, 6, Yahweh shall say unto him, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And you think Israel, Israel didn't read that already? Israel tried to sk skip over a scripture like that. Israel will see a scripture like that and skip over it, man. Thinking they on a level to where they can just go straight to the Heavenly Father. No, man. And, and you know, Lord, you how I you look, you're pissing the Heavenly Father off by not believing on his only begotten son who he sent to redeem us, man. To purchase us back, to buy us back through his blood. He shed his blood, and you got Israelites that don't even want to confess him, but it's all good, though. It's all good. The Lord, Like the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice, all right? Oh, yeah, then it says in the Apocrypha, the election of praise those high holy names, right? We ain't no time to be playing around. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 18, and it reads, For through him, Lord Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call Jesus, for through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father, that mediator. You see that intercessor, right? That lawyer. Lord Yahweh Shai. He goes to the Heavenly Father for us, on behalf of us. And Lord willing, we're going to keep confessing it, man. Over and over and over and over. We don't give a damn if you get tired of us saying it. Over and over. Getting aggravated. These Israelite groups getting aggravated that we're confessing the name of Lord Yahweh Shai. We're confessing Yahweh Bashim. We're confessing the Heavenly Father through the name of His only begotten Son. That's the only way you're going to get to the Heavenly Father. And through His Son, man. This ain't a long, drawn-out lesson, but look, something's on my mind. You, you, you wake up still hearing people say, um, Most High Blessed. Don't give no credit to the Lord. Lord Yahweh shot. These are the same men that, that had them crucified, though, man. You can see it in the spirit. You, you can see it in their eyes, man. 
How they got a, a such disdain for Lord Yahweh Shai, and they got such disdain for the men that's coming in the name of Lord Yahweh Shai too. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they got a disdain for us, man, a, a deep, dark hatred. Let's get this, though. St. Luke chapter 19, verse 27, and it reads, but those mine enemies. Lord, Lord Yahweh Shai got enemies, man. You, you false Israelites, two-thirds. You false Israelite groups, their leaders, your enemies of Lord Yahweh Shai. And look, and look, and you know it too. And you, you know it too. And no matter how bad your ass look or how sick you get, you still ain't going to confess the names of Lord Yahweh Shai because you're not of his. You're, you're not of his, man. St. Luke 19, 27, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, because anytime you don't confess the name of Lord Yahweh Shai, you don't want him to reign over you. You don't want him to rule over you. You see, you look, you want to be the ruler. You want to be the leader. You want to be um, chief and commander. You see, you want everybody to follow you. You want to be held on a pedestal. You want to be glorified. You want to be praised when, when you're not even worthy of it. You're not even worthy of it. Like the scriptures say, he that thinketh himself to be something when he ain't shit, deceiveth him own self, man. You got a whole lot of guys deceiving their own self, thinking that they something, man. You, you can't save nobody. Man on earth can't save no damn body. The Israelite group leaders can't save nobody. Hell, we all need saving. We all need delivering. You see? Let's get it again. St. Luke. 19, 27, but those mine enemies, which were not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. But the word slay means to kill, man. Take you out of this world. And that's what's going to happen. The Israelites that don't want Lord Yahweh Shai to reign over them, he's going to send forth his servants that did want him to reign over him, you know what I'm saying, over them, to, to go get you, man, and bring you right in front of the Lord. All right? And you're going to have to look the Lord dead in his face then, man. And, and, and you're going to fear, and you're going to tremble, and you're going to shake, you're going to rattle, and then next thing you know, it's time for you to roll. You see? This is not a game. We're not involved in a game. This is Your life is on the line. And when, when Lord Yahweh should I say he's the way, he's the life and the truth. Let's get this though. A couple of quick little scriptures, man. Had something on my mind early this morning, man. It's like it's like it's mind-boggling. Why aren't these Israelite groups teaching the proper names in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son? Why? A ask yourself that. Why? That's what they need to be doing. Instead of worrying about um how a marriageable age for a damn woman. They need to be confessing the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Do a lesson on that. Do a lesson on confessing the proper names in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son for a change. Do that for a change. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. Whosoever read letter, Lord Yahweh shall speak who the English call Jesus, right? Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men. And starting off with the head apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone, week in, week out, we're confessing the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Non-stop. And Lord willing, we'll continue to do that. Non-stop. Whoso therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, all these Israelite groups that think you can go straight to the Heavenly Father, you're denying the only begotten Son before the whole world. You see? It says, um, but whosoever shall deny me before men, well, look, we ain't got the proper Hebrew. We don't know the true proper names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. We don't have the real, we don't have the real Hebrew. That's these guys, man. And they got a large following. Everybody's slow as hell. Everybody's slow as hell, man. Retarded as hell. But whosoever, but whosoever shall can therefore slack you. I'm in I'm height. Those names mean a lot, man. 
But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven, and all hell breaking loose. And you denied the only begotten Son? He's going to deny you to the Heavenly Father, man. They controls everything. This says this is going to happen, and that's going to happen. Oh, yeah, that's not going to happen, and, and that's not going to happen. You're going to end up in the worst case scenario known to mankind. That, that's what's going to happen. You Israelites that are not confessing Lord Yahweh Shai to the whole world, you, you're going to end up in the worst case scenario that you ever, that you, you just mean, uh, uh, shit, man. You're going to end up in a situation you never thought you would be in, man. And there ain't going to be no way out. But you would have had a way out if you would have confessed Lord Yahweh Shai to the world. Let's get this though. St. John 5. I'm going to end it off on this because I got to go. St. John chapter 5. We we'll start at 22. St. John chapter 5, verse 22. And it reads, matter of fact, I started 21. Matter of fact, I started 20. Let's see. I know I, know I got to start at 19. St. John chapter 5, verse 19. Then answered Yahweh Shai and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself. But what he see, see the Father do. Two separate entities, right? For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things. The, the Heavenly Father showed Lord Yahweh Shai all things. All things. You see? And showeth him all things that himself doeth. And he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father raises up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son, Lord Yahweh Shai, quickeneth whom he will. It's, it's Lord Yahweh Shai that made us live through this word. It's, a, it's Lord Yahweh Shai that turned that light bulb on for us to be able to gain access to this truth, to this knowledge. Remember, yeah, the flesh profit of nothing, the word, the word quickeneth. It was this word that quickened us. Lord Yahweh Shai quickened us, man. Made us live again th through this word. You see? For as the Father raiseth up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but have commanded all judgment unto the Son. But you, 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 you skipped over that, didn't you? These Israelite groups, they're skipping over that, though, right? They, they're skipping over that, though, right? Say, so, so you're going to be judged by the Son. Said so the Father gave all judgment, all authority to His only begotten Son, Lord Yahweh Shai, who you Israelite groups are not confessing. You see, it says um, that all men should honor the Son. You, you got men on earth not honoring the Son; they just honor the Father. Let's get that again. That all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. That's why we come in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Kahalayam La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwa Dash Rakata, man. Right? That all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. Because what do we read in St. Luke? The Lord said, look, you don't want to worship me? You don't want me to reign over you? Then go get him and bring him over here and slay him. It's going to, man, come on, man. That number going to stack up, man. The Lord getting ready to get it in, man. On oh, you two-thirds of you false Israelite group leaders, man, you, you, you don't even see it, though. You don't even see it. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which have sinned. The Heavenly Father sent His only begotten Son down to the earth that we may honor Him. Remember, remember, he created us. This is our savior. What part of that don't you Israelite groups get? This is our savior, man. All right? He is the way. He's the bread of life. You see? He's that door. But I ain't going to be the dead horse. I just want to do something quick through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shire. Remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. A, a, a fearful thing, Israel. Bring hither and slay before me. Just remember that. That's the last thing you're going to hear. Bring hither and slay. Those that didn't want Lord Yahweh Shire to reign over them, bring them hither. 
and slay him right before me. And it's getting bad out here. Shalom.